Hello, and welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, it is 10.30, and I have a job interview this morning, so I'm getting ready, and I thought I would get ready with you guys. I just primed my skin using the... Laura Geller Spackle Perfecting Skin Perfecting Primer. Um, this is a Zoom interview. And I'm trying to decide if I want to pull out this Iconic London Radiance Booster. I don't know that that's necessary, so I don't think I'm going to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is fill in the brows with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil in the shade Me Neutral Brown. I've been using this for my brows for a long time. Um, So I don't want to talk too much about what the interview's for because it's just like a preliminary group interview. Um, So I have no idea like how it's even going to go. But if I start moving along in the interview process and or get the job, obviously I'll fill you guys in. And I'm gonna take the NYX Thicket Stick It Brow Gel in Brunette. Actually, because it's a job interview, I'm gonna take the St. Lux Brow Gel in Clear and it'll be a little bit more natural. But I do love that NYX brow product. Okay, now I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow primer in sheer. And I'm gonna take this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. This is the Ayana palette. And I'm going to just use this fluffy brush from Elena Badro. Got it in a boxy charm. Clean it off on the back of my hand because that's just what we do here. Okay, I'm gonna take this first shade right here, um, Harlow, and I'm gonna put it all over my lid. Okay, and then we're going to take this shade, crease, and deepen out the crease. And we're going to just take a little bit of this shade, lash line, and deepen out the crease even more. Just a little, because it's dark. It is my favorite weather outside. It's like wet, rainy. The air is just so crisp and beautiful. I'm loving it. I have my window open. It's just perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Wondrous Escape palette from Wander Beauty. And I'm just going to take the shade Moonlit right here and put it on the lid. Just so beautiful. And it'll just brighten up the eyes a bit because I don't want my eyes to be too dark on Zoom. Perfect, and I'm just gonna go back in with that original shade and just blend it. I'm using the viewfinder as the <laughs> mirror for a second. Okay, since I haven't done my face makeup, take a uh, makeup wipe and just clean up the edges. For concealer, for our first concealer, I'm gonna use the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade. 01N. The second darkest shade and put it under the lash line. And I'm just going to use this teeny little Morphe brush.
There we go. Okay, now we're going to take the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the shade Fair, and we're gonna use it to brighten up. You can't really tell because of the lighting, but I need it. This stuff goes such a long way. You need like none. But the applicator is annoying because it puts out a ton. Same sponge. Now it's time for bronzer. We're gonna take the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. And I have this Real Techniques 401, like, kind of contour-ish brush. And I'm just gonna warm up my face. All right. For blush, I'm gonna be taking this blush that I've been loving, which is the Stranger Things X Matte Collection in the shade Friends Don't Lie. It's this really p cute pale pink but it's pretty sheer, so I like it. I'm trying not to go too ham on the blush because it is more of like a business casual look, but I do love some blush. For highlight, I'm gonna take the Rach Loves X Pixie Palette and I'm gonna take the shade Clutch down here. There we go, and put some of the shade Lace in the inner corner. Now I'm going to set my face with the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist face prime setter thing on the lens. Mm. Smells so good. Okay. And now mascara. I'm gonna regret this because when I have a nap after my interview before hockey tonight, this will go everywhere, but I will just clean it up. And this is the MAC Max Stack Mascara, but only on the top. And for the bottom lashes, we will take the Calorie Come Hell or High Water Mascara. This is a tubing mascara, and it's great for the bottom lashes because it doesn't smudge. And there we go. All right, we are ready to go. I'm gonna throw my blazer on over this. It's on the chair back there, obviously, obviously. But I just added this red lip. Um, I'm wearing the Morphe lip liner in Linda. The Morphe X Jeffree Star red. I don't like Jeffree Star, but it's the best red that I have. And then I added a little bit of the Grande Lip, Grande something, pumping highlighter just on the center of my lips. And I look really warm, like it's hot in the house. Um, might run and grab my setting spray and give it a spray. But yep, and here's the setup. We got the ring light computer plugged in plugged in the ring light airpods notes and everything and some water so i think we're ready to go we're done i had a minor mishap in which i dropped my setting spray on the floor and effectively broke it i don't know what i did but like um now i can't get the little it doesn't it doesn't mist anymore i think i broke the see how it's just water I think I broke the mister, but then I sprayed it on my face and promptly had it dripping down my face into my eye about two minutes before I jumped on the interview. Not optimal, but that's okay. Um, I am done. So I'm going to get out of these clothes and I'm going to order some food and then I'm going to chill because I am exhausted. I haven't done something like that for over a year. Um... Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> and then I will take a nap at some point because my hockey is really late tonight and I'd like to work on my bullet journals. So there's your kind of rounded update and yeah. So I just got my lunch and the location always puts this cute little thingy 
like this one. We got a cocoa crush on you because that's the smoothie that I ordered. So cute. Good morning, it's Tuesday. And I'm tired. <laughs> Last night, I had hockey, ball hockey, until 10. And then I did not sleep well. And now it's 9.30 and I'm heading out to ice hockey. <laughs> I'm sore. And not really looking forward to it. But... I will be there. When I get back, I need to have a good shower because I didn't wash my hair last night because um, I knew I would just be going back on the ice day. Um, but I need a kind of a good shower and then we have my grandfather's memorial tonight so I have to look nice. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have a nap because I am exhausted, so. Anyway, I gotta go finish getting ready and head off to hockey. Okay, I'm back home and I just had a wonderful shower and I've been letting my hair dry and now I'm gonna try um, this old method my hairdresser used to use. So I'm gonna use these. Also, when I was buying them, I got a new Squishmallow. Her name is Nabila. She's a narwhal. I love her coloring and I love the horn. Anyway, there's a truck idling. But I'm gonna brush through my hair and start pinning it up um, with those clips. So I just put a clip in at my um, part to give this some volume. And then what you do is you just take like a chunk of hair, twist it kind of like this, and then you just pin it up to the top of your head. And depending on how this holds, I may sleep on it for my nap. Um, but I'm not really sure because I don't think this is gonna be overly comfortable to sleep on, we'll see. So yeah, you just keep going around your head, taking sections and clipping them to the top because this will give your hair more volume. And what you do once you've gone all the way around is you take the diffuser then you take down each part and just let the diffuser diffuse the hair, I guess. And you're set. I just slept on this for two hours, and now I'm gonna go and diffuse it to get it to dry, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is what it looks like right out of the diffuser there is a lot of volume in the roots and it's a lot curlier in the roots than i normally would do because i normally don't braid that high up it's okay the curls are not overly even but i'm gonna do my makeup and see if they fall a bit and make get more even and then i'll style it somehow but pretty much success since i rarely wash my hair the day that i have to go up to an event so okay Oh, we're very washed out. Here is the makeup. Just a basic look, I guess. I'm going to bring a lip gloss because I haven't decided if I'm going to wear a mask or not. Um, I just left my hair down and I'm wearing, I'll show you in the mirror, this button-down dress from H&M. Guys, I tried this trick I saw on TikTok. It, it's a little bit of cleavage, we're not going to lie. Um, but that's why I have this cover up, but these buttons were bulging, so I just did them up and hid one of them. I'll, I'll put the video here. Hi, um, just wanted to come on really quick, um, put this dress on and look very, very gapy. See my bra through it. So I saw this hack that apparently if you put that button with that one, it's, it saws it out. So I thought I would just show you quickly without trying to show you my cleavage. So that button there, that button there, and I thought there's no way this would work, but it did, and I thought I'd have to show you. Look at that, and it makes it look even better. Win-win. Because -win. I don't know how to explain it. And then I'm just tying this um, poppy, like see-through top over it to kind of make it look like a skirt and a top moment. And that is the morning. I am running late. It is Wednesday morning and I'm meeting my friend Jackie for coffee. 
in like two minutes, but that's okay. She told me she's running late and it's only a few minutes from here, so that's fine. Um, I just tried to book uh, my tour for your Europe, um, but something went wrong. I don't know if the website is acting up or what. Um, so we will find out when I get home and we'll just see what's going on. But I have a lot of things I'd like to do today, but I don't know if they're all gonna happen because I'm tired. <laughs> um, but I would like to get up today's video and I'd like to work on my bullet journal because it is um, June 1st today and I have not set up my bullet journal. This is like the latest I've ever waited and this is the most time I've ever had. Ironic, but anyway, I gotta go for coffee and I'll check in with you guys on the flip side Hello, I'm back. It is three o'clock. I literally have been out of the house for like four hours But we had a really great time. I didn't get any video. I think I got a picture of Jackie's frappuccino that she had but <clears throat> As you can tell by my voice, we just talked a lot and it was really fun So now I'm gonna go inside and edit the video that's supposed to go up today and then i'm gonna start working on my bullet journal and while i was waiting for jackie to come to the rest to starbucks i managed to book the tour that i've been trying to get so i'm very excited and i will be going ah, to prague which is like my dream i've wanted to go there for so long um among other places but that was like the main deciding factor so i'm very excited but yes, let's go inside and start doing some of the work we have to do today. We have book club at six, but see you in a bit. So I've been working on my bullet journal for like the last couple of hours. I started off with this cow theme, but only the red cow is at all cute. And this one looks like a dog and this one looks like a demon. So I ripped that out. And then I did this theme. Um, and I don't know how I feel about it. Like I kind of wish I hadn't put the black letters over it. So I might rip this one out. <laughs> I don't know. I feel so discouraged. <sighs> okay, I'll update you once I figure this out, but I'm not having a good time. All right, I settled on this cover and I like it. So we made some progress. Good morning and welcome to part two of Maya Goes to the Passport Office. I went last week and I think the lady helped me but she wasn't clear and then I got a letter from them and so now I need to go back and be like hello do I need to do anything about this letter and then I also need to be like how do I make sure that I get my passport before I need to leave because now I have a trip booked so um please just like wish me luck even though it'll be over by then I'm just so stressed out by this um because I was proactive like I was I did, I sent in my application in March because I knew so many people were going to be doing this but it doesn't matter because now it's June and I still don't have a passport so I'm just a little bit stressed out but then after that I do have a nail appointment because I did get my nails done two weeks ago and they were bad and they also are like all chipped and cracked and everything considering the last ones lasted me a month I'm not really happy about it but um they're just gonna do like a application and removal instead of like a whole manicure so it won't cost me as much but I need to get them fixed because tomorrow is grad and then but in between those provided we have time we're gonna go to Starbucks because I need to get some work done so that's the plan uh let's head out guys I've never been more relieved in my life she told me what to do if I don't get it in time and that everything should be in and we should be good so I'm relieved and now I'm going to Starbucks for the next like less than an hour till I have to go to my appointment because it took an hour of sitting outside and 40 minutes of sitting inside. So. Okay, I'm about 
to go in and get my nails fixed. Thank God. Look at how bad. They're so bad. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go in and do that. I got a little bit of work done at Starbucks. Not enough, but that's okay. Let's go in. All in there. Okay, we're back. Look. Oh, I like this color so much more too than the blue. Um, I'll show you better at home because it's very bright right here. Um, there you go. It's so pretty. It will match um, the colors of Mount Royal tomorrow for my grad. And she did a great job and we had a great time chatting and I'm very happy. So now I have to run some errands at Chopper's Drug Mart. And I'm hoping I can just cut up the street here and get to it. And then we're heading home and I will be taking a nap, friends. I will be, I will. <laughs> on my actual camera today i vlogged all day on my phone but it's now 10 45 um after i came back from all of my errands this morning i took a nap then i just woke up fixed up my makeup which is now not fixed up anymore and we headed out to the airport because my grandparents best friends were here from florida for my grandfather's memorial and so we met them at their hotel at the airport for dinner and it was really nice to see them and then we just came back and i've just been reading um tripping arcadia and then i'm gonna call it a night because tomorrow is grad good morning it's graduation day sorry it's very dark all of a sudden it's just before 9 30 and i'm just heading into the kitchen to make a coffee i'm gonna need it today i think so i'm gonna make an iced latte um i guess an iced caramel macchiato at this point and then we gotta go get ready gotta do my hair makeup all that stuff but i'm leaving myself about two and a half hours i think i should be okay but yeah let's make a coffee <music> Let's go get dressed. We're gonna start with hair. Um, I, as you know, like I let it, I did the diffuser trick and it's just been existing since then. I'm going to straighten it. So let's jump in. All right, here we go. Hair is done. It's mostly straight, it has a little bit of curl, but I think it looks good. And there's gonna be a hat on my head, so the top doesn't really matter, but I can flip it to be parted differently if I want. It's 10.26, I'm gonna take a short break, and then I'm gonna go back and do my makeup. So while I was taking my break, I got an email from the place I applied for a job, that, or the interview that I did on Monday, and even though there's still a week left of preliminary interviews, I have already been rejected. So that's fun. Um, I'm gonna be sad about it tomorrow though because I need to be my best, like, badass self for today, for a grad. <laughs> then tomorrow I will be sad about it. But now it's time to do my makeup. I got this new setting spray from NYX. It's the Radiant Finish long lasting setting spray because as we know from Monday, my setting spray broke and I wanted a new one. So let's see what the mist looks like. Nice. Doesn't smell too bad either. Okay, perfect. We'll put that on later. Now it's time to get ready. The makeup is done and it's 11.18. So I'm just gonna run and quickly eat something and then I'll throw on my dress and shoes and a lip and we'll be ready to go. All right, one second. This is the look. We got the black dress on. We're ready to go. a graduate of university um 
oh it was it was a great ceremony also jan arden um the singer and comedian got a her honorary doctorate at the same time so that was neat um we just came back home for a little bit before we're gonna go to try this new restaurant that opened near us for dinner um one of our family friends just dropped off these really cute cookies i'm gonna show you like look they have we have a little like 22 we have like this little cap a little congrats she makes these cookies and decorates them she's so talented cheers cookie asmr okay i just got changed into my pajamas for like five seconds because i needed to take off my bra ladies you understand okay um while i was out i got my order from ColourPop, so i thought i would show you guys what we got so um this is out of its box but the first thing that i picked up was the Star Wars X ColourPop, um, the lip gloss, um, and this is in the shade Elite. It is this really pretty purpley holographic shade. Um, let's watch it for you. It's very faint purple but I love that kind of cooler tone and it's very colorful so I picked that up this is from the Star Wars collection then also from Star Wars we picked up the uh, Star Wars Mandalorian the child palette um, I don't like the Mandalorian show but how can you not love this little face so this is the palette. Look how pretty those colors are. I wanted like some cool toned greens and some of these shimmers like this precious cargo shade. Oh, stunning. Okay, I'm very excited about that palette. Then I picked up Another one of their freckle pens, because I use these like every day for my everyday makeup routine. This is in the shade Soft Brown. So I just wanted to pick up another one. You've seen me use this in my videos before. I use it all the time. Picked up these two Super, Super Shock Shadows, and this is the On The Rank Duo. So we have two different colors. This is from their um, Rollerblade collection. Uh, can never get into their packaging okay here we go okay so the first shade is fancy footwork it is this pink shade so watch it for you these are so pretty oh stunning little like peachy shade Oh my god, if you can hear my phone, my group chat is just going crazy. And then we have this cool um, teal shade, and this is the shade Groove Tonight. Bow, bow, groove Tonight. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right, all night. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'm very excited about all these things and I cannot wait to try them out. But I just wanted to give you guys a little unboxing. Um, I'm going to have to get dressed again and uh, fix up any makeup that needs to be fixed. But I think we're looking okay. We're looking fresh. Because um, we're going to go to dinner to this new restaurant. It actually replaced Jack Astor's, which is sad. But we're really excited to give it a try. Um, but yeah, I need to get put a bra back on. Rip.
Saturday. It's just before 9.30 and I'm just dressed in like jeans and a t-shirt because we are going to brunch this morning. Um, this is like the one time we could all find to hang out while Danica is still in town um, as a group. So we're going to chorus for breakfast, hopefully get in and then probably come back here for a bit and then Danica and I are going to see Doctor Strange me for the second time her for the first time this afternoon but I just wanted to give a quick intro to the vlog because my camera needs to charge so I'm just gonna leave it here but I'll get some clips on my phone it's a gloomy day but it's like my favorite weather outside so I'm happy gal so I'm gonna leave the camera here head out and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Good morning vlog. I did not pick the, up the camera much yesterday, so I will give you a little, I'll fill you in a little bit on what happened. We went to Chorus for brunch, it was great. We walked right in, which almost never happens. Um, and then I went into a couple of grocery stores looking for some things for dinner and was unable to find anything. Then came back, took a quick nap, and then I met Danica, um, at the theater by her house to go and see Doctor Strange, me for the second time, her for the first. I loved it so much more the second time. I'm, um, healthily obsessed again, and I wasn't the first time I was like, I don't really care about this movie. But I definitely liked it way more. Um, so if you haven't seen it, I do recommend going to check it out. It's a little bit more horror based than the usual um, Marvel movies, but it's great. Then I picked some things up for dinner at Walmart and then came home. And my brother and I just uh, watched the hockey game and had frozen pizza for dinner because my parents were out of town. And then I wrote a blog post for my freelance work and we called it a night. Now it's just about noon. I slept in a little bit and then I just like lay in bed reading like fan fiction. <laughs> to be completely honest, I did. And then had breakfast and now I just got dressed and I'm waiting for my dad to get ready so we can head to Inglewood. He needs to get beard oil that he always gets from this like same specific place and I thought I'd go along and grab a coffee so that is the plan it's been it rained all last night so it's like beautiful outside fresh smelling not too warm so I pulled out the big cardigan because I'm gonna take advantage of wearing it when I can wear it um so yeah that's kind of the update then I really need to put up a video so I should probably do that when we go back and then I'll probably take a nap and that'll be Sunday. The weekend has just flown by, in my opinion. Um, but it's also been quite busy with grad and everything. So I'm pretty sure that's all the updates that I have. Um, I'm wearing the... One of the Super so Shock shadows that I hauled earlier in the video. And I like it a lot, so... halfway through tripping Arcadia so I thought I'd give you guys a little update on it. I am really enjoying it so far. The prose is beautiful. The author does a really really great job of like setting the scene. It's very picturesque. I like it. The characters are good too. Like there's some compelling characters. I like the main character. I mean it's interesting. Uh the way that the story is going without giving any of it away also it's giving Gatsby vibes which if you know me you know that is all I ever want so yeah I'm quite enjoying it as you can see 
I have not too much left to go. Probably just over, I think I have about 130 pages left. So finish that up in the next vlog for sure. But for now, I'm going to try to get an earlier-ish night. It's 9.45. So I'm going to go get ready for bed and end off the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope you liked a little look into graduation. It's been a crazy week. Um, but I'm really grateful for all the people who helped me kind of get to get through this degree. And if you're interested, I'll probably make a video about my experience and about another one I'd like to make about internships. Um, how to get an internship um, as a student. So anyway, if you're interested, let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next week for another couple videos. Bye.